people to have uh, injectables, which are Botox and fillers. And, uh, and we're getting a lot of questions about exactly do they do, where do you use them? So I'm gonna address that in this Tuesday talk. So Botox is the most commonly injected. Uh, and Botox causes you to block muscle function, okay? So it treats what we call dynamic rightage or wrinkles that are caused by muscle function. For example, if you raise your eyebrows, you get wrinkles on your forehead. So when you block that muscle function, you soften or flatten those wrinkles. Now, Botox is most commonly used around the eyes and forehead region. So in this area, generally speaking, that's where Botox is used. That's, that's the most common. Can you use it in other parts? Can you use it around wrinkles around the mouth? Or if the muscles are pulling down the corner of your mouth? Yes. Can you use it on the neck? Yes. But the most common area is in that forehead eye region. Okay. Now, Fillers do something different. Fillers either replace a volume that you have lost because as we age, we tend to lose fat in our face, or if you have lose weight, you develop more wrinkles, or just over time, our skin starts to become less elastic and you develop wrinkles. So as you start to lose elasticity, you start to get deeper wrinkles in, in the fold. So what fillers do is fill those spots, okay? They can either fill areas where you've lost volume or where you have wrinkles, and they're used most anywhere on the face. Common areas would be like in the temples, in a fold underneath the eye called the nasal jugal fold, nasal labial fold, marionette lines. Those are the most common areas. So really to answer your questions, we need to understand what bothers you and then come up with a game plan to best treat it. And it can be filler, it can be Botox, or it can be a combination of both. Thank you.